Okay, welcome. So I welcome you to this space, to your space, to your practice. It's an honor to guide your practice and it's an honor to honor your practice. So taking your comfortable seat, sit on something if you need to. And um, let's start just by rolling the wrists and the fingers a little bit. Take a few breaths and even pulse your hands open and closed. And then we're just gonna reach these arms straight up and you can open your hands, look up. Let's take three or four breaths here. Just receiving this lifting of energies. And, and inhale. As you exhale, join the palms together, release your hands down to rest in front of your heart, bow your chin and just rest in your stillness. Perhaps you can feel your heart beating. Feel your body gently moving with your breath. And smiling, honoring and giving gratitude for this space, for this place, for this practice, and for your presence. And just imagining or seeing yourself outside of yourself right now, just seated as you are in the seat of the yogi, the beginning of your practice. And in your stillness with your eyes closed, here you are and life is still swirling and happening around you. We're still in our cycles of up, of down, of midpoint, whatever is occurring in your personal life, in this global life. That it is possible to just take some time for quiet, for introspection, to release, to receive, and to simply be. And as you begin your next inhale, lengthen yourself, lift your chin, and as you exhale, stay as you are. And we'll open practice and we'll chant OM together, separate yet together three times. Inhale. Oh. Oh. Bow your chin, release your hands to your thighs, lift your chin and open your eyes. Okay, friends, we're gonna start on your back and we're gonna place something underneath your chest, get a little chest lift. So I'm gonna use my blocks, but if you prefer something softer, use your bolster or take your blanket, make a little blanket roll. I'll just show you very quickly what I mean. So if you wanna use a blanket roll that can go underneath your chest, so I'm going to use blocks. So I have one block for underneath the heart, one block for the head. And I put my blocks on the highest height, but you know, to thine own self be true. So if it's the lowest height for the chest, second height for the head is great. Whatever you're doing, just to get the chest to lift a little bit is good practice. So if I'm using blocks, I kind of use my thumbs to help place that block right underneath the shoulder blades, and then one for the head. Okay, I'm just gonna lift my blocks up to the highest height. And then really have to lift your chest to get there. But wherever you are right now is good. Hopefully it's, um, it doesn't need to be super comfortable, but 
not uncomfortable or painful. So you can have your legs stretched straight. You can have your knees bent. If you've gone to, you know, gone to a higher, a height that's too high for you, then take a moment to adjust. And if you want to go higher, you can take that more time to adjust. And sometimes that adjustment can just be by taking the support out from under the head. Yeah, more of a lift for the chest. So I'm just take my head support down. And just take a few breaths, melt yourself in. Okay, stay as you are, or if you wish, take your arms and just stretch them over your head, with the palms facing each other. They don't have to touch the floor. Just take them over your head anywhere they go. Take a few breaths. And release your arms. Either roll to your side or press yourself up to sitting. And then remove your props and come to just lie down on your back. And maybe bring a block um, within reach. Okay. Good. So just pause here. If you need something for underneath your head, you can put it there. Good. Okay, we're gonna just come to windshield wiper. So arms out to the side, heel till your feet apart and start to drop your knees one side and then to the other. Good. All right, so we're gonna take this into coming up to seated and then coming right back down. So we'll do the first few very slowly. So let your knees now drop over to the right and then start to roll yourself to your right. Let your left arm trace over your head to come all the way in front of you. Press yourself up to sitting and just stay as you are. Don't really, you know, keep your legs as they are. Just twist and then you'll take the right arm underneath the left, comes down onto your right shoulder. You're gonna roll back onto your back. Let the left hand trace over your head and then you can rest for a moment if you feel dizzy or drop the knees over to the left. Take the right arm now, trace over your head. And then press yourself up, take a little, there's a little twist here. You just kind of turn. And then the left arm comes underneath and the right arm traces over your head. Good. And we'll just do this a few times. So if you need to pause in the middle, do that. You don't have to go very fast. Move with your breath. Good. I think I said one more time on each side, but I'm gonna do one more time on each side. And by now you kind of are creating your own little dance here. So after you have moved one more time on each side, then just bring yourself back onto your back. And Take a few breaths, just rest in your stillness. You know, widen the feet apart, let the knees come together. Arms can stay out to the side or rest them on your body. And just now just really let the breath be the guide. You feel the floor very heavy beneath you. And then separate your knees, heel toe, your feet together. And bring both knees into your chest. I'm just going to hug them in. But if you need your strap here or something to help you, then you know, throw that in. So I'm just going to rock these knees in and out just very gently, moving with the breath. Feet are flexed slightly, maybe a lot more than slightly. Good. And then we'll start to circle these knees. So I'll keep the hands on the knees, a few rotations, just circling in one direction. And really feel the imprint in your back. Good. And then change directions. 
And the knees are just creating this little circling. Okay, and then pause, invite the knees into your chest, and you might walk your hands down the shins. And just kind of hug in this little, you might even get right to your ankles, and you might not. It's all fine. Just hug them in, soften your glutes if you can, soften your shoulders. Good. Okay, and then release your arms out to the sides and maybe even down a little bit, 30 degrees between right in your hips and out to the side. Turn the palms down. Good, and now flex your feet and we're gonna circle the knees again. This time it's gonna be bigger and your hands are there to help. You're just rolling the knees in a circle so they can stay together. Hopefully if they come apart, that's fine too. And then reverse and circle in the opposite way. Nice big circles if you can. And again, you don't have to move very fast. Okay, okay let's go one time in each direction. Good. And then bring the knees into your chest, turn your palms up. And we'll release both knees over to the right side just for a simple twist. So if you need to put a blanket between your knees, underneath your knees, let your feet relax, turn your head to the left, open your jaw, let your mouth just drop open. Okay, put your mind into your left shoulder, left arm, left side of your waist. And invite that, those places to just release a little more deeply. And then we're gonna deepen this twist. So let's begin by just turning your head now all the way to the right. So you can see your right arm. Bend the right arm at the elbow. Keep the elbow on the floor, but anchor down into the floor. Lift your right shoulder up and spin your chest more to the left. Then turn your head back to the left and release the right arm and drop it again to your breath. Stay exactly as you are. Take your right hand and you're just gonna put it into the left hip crease. Maybe the thumb wraps around the front of the hip crease and the fingers are just outside of the hip. And you're just gonna push this left hip away. You could also not have the thumb there and just kind of sneak the base of the hand, the heel of your palm into this left hip crease and just open it in some way. Push it away. Now take the left arm up and alongside your ear if that's comfortable. I'm gonna really extend that left arm away as I press this left hip away. Take one big breath in. As you exhale, release your arms back out, turn your palms down and bring the knees back up. And you might have the feet on the floor when you do that. You might have the knees into your chest. And take a few breaths in neutral. So knees in or feet to the floor and just feel. Notice, you know, the imbalance in the two sides. Good. And then we'll go twist to the left. So I'll start by taking the arms out, you know, not below, not right out, 30 degrees, palms down. I'm gonna bring the knees into my chest and then drop both knees over to the left. Good. Once you get there, turn your palms up, turn your head to the right, just nice and easy. Throw props in if you need them. So if you need some support underneath your right shoulder or in between your knees, anywhere there. Let your face be very relaxed. And put your attention into the whole right side, the right shoulder, right side of your waist. As if you could just let all of that be so heavy. Good. 
Turn your head all the way to the left. And bend your left elbow, anchor the elbow into the floor. Lift your left shoulder, lift um, shoulder blade and spin the chest more to the right. Turn your head all the way to the right and release the left arm again. And drop into your breath, into this, you know, greater release through the right side. And then take your left hand, sneak it into the right hip crease, any, any way that makes sense. So you can just open this up, even, you know, a little bit. And then take the right arm up and alongside your ear and extend that right arm as you press this left, uh, sorry, right hip crease away. And breathe into your space, into your place. Good. And then releasing your arms back out, palms down, coming back onto your back. Lowering your feet to the floor, perhaps basic resting pose, feet wide, knees together, turn your palms up and just feel the heaviness into the floor. Good. Okay, separate your knees, heel toe the feet together. Let's bring the right knee into your chest. Use your strap or your hands to hold it there and you can extend the left leg or keep it bent if you need to. And just rock this knee in and out a few times. Okay, notice your left leg. If it's stretched out straight, add some integrity into that. So that it's not just, you know, sleeping. Good. Nice, and then hands still as they are, start to rock this knee out to the side and across your chest, just moving it in this um, horizontal plane. So just out to the side and back in. And notice, you know, if you, as you bring this right knee out, is your left hip really lifting? Then do your best to keep the left side anchored. Okay. Now let this keep the interlace, but let the right knee really drop out to the right side. And the right elbow might be on the floor. It's gonna pull this knee up, extend through your heels. Smile. Good. And then bring the knee back into the center. Draw it in, soften. We're going to release the leg, take the arms up and over your head. Maybe both legs are stretched out straight or feet on the floor. Just pause here. A few breaths. Feel into the two hip creases. So I feel a big difference. My left hip crease is like begging. When's my turn? Well, it's right now. So bring the left knee in. Hands up and over, opposite interlace. So right leg can be bent or stretched out straight. I'm just drawing the left knee in and out a few times. Finding that integrity in the right leg. Whatever that is for you, you know, that could just be as simple as just flexing the foot, it might be grounding the heel, extending through the back of the leg. And then we'll start to move this knee across and in. So just painting this horizontal line. Noticing if you're really rocking onto the left side as the knee moves out to the left and doing your best to stabilize so that the movement is just really in the hip, the left hip. As best as you can. Good. Okay. And then we'll pause with the knee out to the left. Maybe the left elbow's on the floor. Really draw this knee up with my hands. I'm pulling it up towards the you know, left shoulder, extending through both heels, softening your jaw, softening your belly. Good. And then bring the knee back into center, hug it in.
Good. And then we'll release, arms come over the head if that's okay for your shoulders, legs. Stretch out, just rest. Let your feet flop. Fingers are maybe curling in. Good. Okay. Now, um, stretch the legs out if they're not. Anchor the heels to the floor. Imagine you're standing on your feet. And then we'll take the arms, just gonna reach up to the sky with the palms facing each other. Let's just do, do that little bit of um, shoulder flossing where you just reach up to the sky and then bring the shoulders down without um, bending the arms. So you just reach up, bring the, the shoulders down to the floor. Just do this a few times. Good, and then let's just change this a little bit. Take the left arm and just reach it maybe so it's in line with what you think would be the crown of your head. And the right arm is just gonna extend down as if it's just, I don't know, maybe hovering above the right hip, if you could draw a line. Now floss again. So just reach and bring them back. Notice if your belly is engaging, drawing down to the floor when you reach up, that's mechanics, that's what happens. Good, and now change the position of your arms. And do that again, just flossing your shoulders in this plane. No weight on the hands, you know, just moving. Good. And then bring the hands back to that starting position, but now open them up. So not, because they're like that 30 degrees away from the body. And do it again, reach out, bring them back. And just really feel your shoulders. I'm getting these little popping, cracking sounds normal to some extent good okay all right let's rest the arms for a second rest the legs take a few breaths again feel you know the more we do here the more the body receives the support of the floor so maybe you can even feel the back of your heart is a little heavier okay so now we're going to come all the way up to sitting which was my initial intention so Heels on the floor, find the integrity in your legs as if you're standing on your feet. Reach your arms up to the ceiling, palms face each other. Now reach up, do that reach up that we did. Stretch your fingers, the belly starts to draw in. Take the bottom ribs in, lift your head up off the floor. Just pause here with the head lifted, maybe you can look at your feet even. Anchor the heels, draw the belly in. And now slowly start to come up a little bit more. And you might be like, ah, uh, that's as far as it gets, Joe. Then bring yourself back down and use a little bit of momentum. See if you can come up. Maybe you come back down, do it again. Maybe you can come all the way up and reach up. And we're just gonna do this again. I'm gonna come right back down. So I'm gonna go slow and really feel, you know, the belly draws back, there's cat pose. The chin is in, there's cat pose. And come all the way down, head down, and then just come back up. And maybe you have to only, you know, you only go a little bit. Then you'd be like, oh, I gotta, Work it, work it, work it. Ah, reach up. Good, let's go one more time and slowly. So we're not really taking in the back. The belly's coming back, the chin's in. I'm reaching the arms away like we did before. And that's all those mechanics. And lower down, head down. And here we go. We're gonna come up and this time we're gonna stay up. So take your time, reach up. Take your hands down to the floor. Take them behind you so you're on the we get the wrist stretch, right? You know, I love that. Take your feet down, open the feet, and let's just do some little windshield wiper here. And it can be very slow. Just feel your body. Good. Okay, come to your center. Let's do a little bit of cat-cow here. I love this because we get the wrists, we get the shoulders, you get the chest. You're moving everything here. I'm gonna kick this up a little bit. So Yogi's Choice, I'm just gonna take the feet off the floor and just do a few. Maybe I'll bring the legs into like I'm sitting on a chair, smile. Hey, if you're with me with the legs, I'm gonna take one foot down, just touch the toes to the floor or don't touch the floor, just change the angle of your legs. Yes, and then switch. Oh, we're getting into the abdominals. Good. Okay, I'm gonna take both feet, just hover from the floor. Hover. Good, and then come up. 
Drop both knees to the right, turn your head to the left. Now I have my knees stacked one on top of the other here. Head come up, maybe I'll take the feet off the floor, drop the knees over to the other side, turn. Good, come back, take your hand. I'm coming to boat pose, so no, no, no surprises. That's this. So you be here, if you need to put your feet on the floor and just kind of lean back, lift your chest, that's fine. Take your arms out if you can. If you can straighten your legs, go for it. You can reach up, smile. Good, and then come to sit cross-legged. However you are. Good, I'm just gonna turn. Okay, all that juicy abdominal stuff. Let's take a twist. So take um, your right arm all the way over. Turn and look behind you. And then keep your hands where they are. Let's just floss. So you turn your chest to the right, turn your head to the right, and then turn all the way back to the left. And just do this a few times. Just floss. Good. And then we'll open to the left, turn. Release your hands, just float them all the way over. And we'll come to the second side to start with the twisting to the right. Good. And then floss. Turn your head to the left and all the way back. Good. Okay. Nice. And then come to your center. All right, pause here. We're going to come to hands and knees. So you can do that any way you like. Maybe it's like this, hands together. You lean yourself forward and see if you can come up onto your knees. If that works, great. If it doesn't, who cares? Unfurl your legs. If you need to put something underneath your knees, do that and then come to your hands and your knees. Actually, let's take the blocks forward too so we have those ready to go. And we'll just put them at the front of your mat. Good. Okay, from hands and knees, we're just gonna drop down into cat pose. Just release your abdominals, lift your chin. Notice the shoulders. So I'm just, if you're watching me, I'm just letting the shoulders kind of move forward. But I'm gonna roll them back as if I could take them back and down the back. And by doing that, I can anchor into the heels of the hands and lift the chest and chin a little higher. Take your eyes up to the ceiling, as high as they're gonna go. Drop your jaw. Take a few breaths here. Good. And then reverse. And reverse by drawing the belly in. So that's gonna lift up first. The tail starts to drop, the hands are engaged a little bit, the head drops. Now move the shoulders away from the ears again. My toes are tucked under, I'll say that too. See if you can find a greater lift in the mid back. Can you drop the tailbone down a little more? Drop your head a little more? And just keep working this. Can I get deeper into this cow, cow stretch? Cat stretch. <laughs> Starts with a C, that stretch. Good, now find neutral. What's neutral here? So the face is looking down, but the head isn't dropping or lifting. The belly's engaged a little bit. Feel the tailbone, the sit bones reaching to the space behind you. And take one more breath here. And okay, we're gonna slip it into child's pose. Let's use the blocks, my friends. Put your blocks on the first height and the heels of the hands go on the edge of the block. And then the, the fingers kind of wrap around, spread around, pinky on one side, thumb on the other, tops of the feet to the floor. Now push the block, the blocks should be on your mat, so they're not gonna go anywhere. You kind of push away and release yourself into child's pose here. So the arms are lifting. The blocks might lift too, you know, like I can feel that my tush is high. So just kind of find your place here, walk your blocks back. Drop your head and really breathe into your back body. And so I'll say this too, my knees are together, but they don't have to be, they could be wide. Just really feel the expansion of your breath.
Good. Okay, I'm gonna take this to downward facing dog and I'm gonna use the blocks because they're here. So we'll come up to hands and knees. You can ditch your blocks. I'm just gonna lift yourself up and back, but the blocks shouldn't go anywhere and they're almost like an arm extender. So I'm gonna do a little bit of this arm push up thing that we did in downward dog. So however your feet are, just pushing into the blocks and then releasing the shoulders back, just shoulder floss. And okay. All right, so now we're gonna step the right foot forward. If you need to come onto your knees, do do that, that's fine. Otherwise take your right foot forward. Here you might put your blocks on their highest height. And just come to like this um, pyramid pose. You know, you can hop the back foot in if you like, or keep it as it is. Good. And let's just move the legs a little bit. Maybe you bend one knee and the other. Just be playful. So make your stance what you need, put the blocks where you need them. Good. Okay. And then we'll come to straighten the legs. You're gonna pull that right hip back, let the left hip come forward. Push into the block so that the shoulders, you know, maybe they're up by your ears and you can extend them, create some space for the chest, for the head. Smile. If you can lift your toes up off the floor, groovy. Good, let's take a revolved um, triangle. So keep your left hand on the block. The right hand can just come to your hip and you start to turn your chest to your head to the right. And then you can reach your right arm up to the sky, but that's fine if it doesn't. Breathe here into all the glory, everything you feel. Good. And then release the right hand down. Let's do that on the opposite side. Look at your left foot. Spin it so it's flat and the heels on the floor, toes are pointing to the left. Your right hand's gonna stay on the block. The block might move back. You might be happier with it back at the shin. Left hand to your hip, and then lift the left shoulder, lift your head, and lift your left arm. Now don't sink into your right shoulder, keep that space. And notice if your head's dropping, lift it up. It's an extension of your spine. Okay, anchor into the big toe mound of your right foot and the inner heel. Good, breathe. Draw your belly in a little bit. Good, okay, let's take this to warrior two. So bend into your front knee, take both arms up, and then you can wait to adjust your stance, you know? Kind of play. Breathe here. Good. We're gonna revolve this before we come down. So left hand comes down onto your left leg, right palm turns up and you reach it up and over. I know you can't see me, but you know what I'm doing. Good. And then both hands back down to the blocks. Lift your back heel. And we're gonna step back and it might be a downward dog. And my blocks are super high, but I can still do this. Or you can come down to child's pose or you can take your hands off the blocks and be here. And whatever works, this is the in-between, breathe here. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing, second side. So the left foot is coming between the hands. So however you do that, and then you'll put your hands back on your block. So take your time. And once you're here, we're just gonna open the legs a little bit by bending one knee and then the other. Okay, if you need to hop that back foot in, narrow your stance, it's all good. You're doing the work. Good, and then we'll come to straighten the legs, however that works for you. Pull the left hip back. Now anchor the hands so that the shoulders are extended. You take your head forward, breathe, and we'll take revolve triangle. So the right hand stays on the block. You can even shift your weight onto that right hand, take the left hand to your hip, pull the hip away, twist. And then you open your chest to the left side, you look to the left side and maybe you reach that arm up. Yes, breathe. Notice if the arm is like winging way back and you bring it in line with your shoulder. Good. Okay, release the hand down. Look at your right foot, turn it so it's flat, heel to the left and um, toes to the right. And then the left hand might come back a bit with the block, you see. Shift the weight onto the left hand, right hand to your hip. 
and open your chest. And don't let, don't sink into the left shoulder. Reach the arm up if that works. Pull the left hip back, belly in, breathe. And we're gonna go to warrior two. So that right hand can come back on your hip. You bend into the left knee and come up. Your version here, adjust your legs if you need to. Belly in, open the hands. Open that left knee out to the side. Good, and then right hand to your right thigh, left arm up to the sky. And come all the way back. And this time we're gonna to come to forward fold. So I'll use the blocks. And just step your feet together. Drop yourself down if that works. If you need to bend your knees, do that. I'm gonna use these blocks on the highest height and just rest my forearms there. Feel your legs opening. Might even lift your toes up off the floor if that works. Good. Okay, friends. So we're gonna come all the way up to standing, but start by sitting down in your legs as much as you can. And as you sit down, you know, the head, the chest will come to lift. And then you rise up through the power of your legs. I'm just gonna step back. Good. Just take a few breaths, let your arms drop. Breathe here. Good, okay. Well, let's start with um, some ankle rolls and then we're gonna go to tree pose. So I'll take the hands onto the hips. Just lift one leg up, start to roll your ankle. And if that balance is too much, keep the toes on the floor. You can always hold onto your wall. Good, and then set that foot down, pause. Let's do the other side. So anchor, lift the opposite leg up and just roll the ankle around a few times. Good. And then come down. Okay, let's rock on the feet front to back. And then set your feet on the floor nicely. You can look at them. We'll shift the weight onto the right foot. Nice and strong through the right side. Lift the left heel, turn it out bring it in and then take that leg up wherever it wants to go. Maybe you grab it high to the thigh. Okay, then your hands can come together at your heart and they can grow and reach up. Open your fingers, take your gaze where you need it to be for stability. So that might be looking down. Okay, notice if the um, left hip is really hiking up. Can you drop it down a little bit? Can you squeeze the legs towards each other? One more breath and then release. And I like to release my hands first, kind of shake the balance and then come down. Okay, pause for a breath or two, just feel. You can even close your eyes. <sighs> yes, okay, second side. So I'm gonna start by rocking front to back on the feet. And now look at my Left foot, really anchor it, spread the toes if you can. And then lift the right heel, turn it out, I have my hands on my hips. And I just kind of find tree pose here. And whatever it is, woo, hands can come together at the heart. And you offer yourself stability, your presence. Where you rest your gaze matters. Look at something that's not moving. And grow your tree as you're ready. So the arms can lift. Hands open. You know, the more you lift your gaze, the more challenging it is. So if you're feeling very steady today, maybe you lift your gaze, look straight ahead or look up, breathe and anchor. Notice if that right hip is really lifting and drop it down. You know, this is great um, pose to practice when you're brushing your teeth. <laughs> Inhale. And exhale, release in whatever way you like to challenge yourself and rest in your stillness. Okay, so here we're gonna use the wall. And if you don't have a wall, you could do this with your couch or a chair. Um, so I'm actually just gonna come back here. Okay, so I'm gonna face the wall. What we're gonna do is just take one foot to the wall. And so you'll just kind of mark it. Just, just take your right foot just to the wall. See if that's, you know, you might have to bend your right knee. 
almost like we're doing lunge at the wall. So you kind of find your place. Yeah. Okay. So let's start. Once you have your space, look at your feet. And if you're going to start um, by lifting the right leg, look at the left foot. Find that good alignment. Hands to your hips. Lift your belly. Shift the weight onto the left foot, just like you're doing tree pose. And then let's try and go slow. So it's you lift the right leg, balance, extend it, whatever you need to do. You might have to bend the left knee. Once you have the foot at the wall, then you can start to even, the right knee can be bent. Let's try and keep the left leg as straight as you can. Okay, so I know this is challenging. If you have the foot on a chair, on your couch, it's already easier. Okay, now I'm using my hips to just kind of come forward and put a little bit of extra weight into the foot at the wall. Okay, if you're comfortable here, then you can lift your arms up in the air and feel that extension from your left hand all the way to the left foot. And then from the right hand, all the way to the right foot. Notice the belly coming in. Okay, I'm gonna to start to take these hands forward towards the wall. They might touch the wall. They might not, you can't even see me, but I have my hands at the wall here. <laughs> take another breath. And then we're gonna release so slow. So I'll lift the arms up, take the hands back to the hips, feel stable in the left leg and release the right leg to the floor, and then drop your arms and just breathe. I'm just gonna lift that camera up, sharing this adventure together a little better. Let's see. Yeah, okay, good. And then, so that, you know, you should feel that. Feel that right? Okay, all right. So now I'll just mark the second leg might be different. So just take a moment, kind of go, okay, like where's that leg gonna go? Okay, then I start with both feet on the floor. I move in with integrity. Feel the right foot, you know, look at it. And then just like you did with tree pose, nice and long, shift the weight onto the right foot, lift the left leg, do what you gotta do to bring it there. Meaning, you know, maybe the, left, the right knee has to bend. Then I'm gonna find it so I can keep the right leg straight. Maybe the left knee bends. I'm gonna say probably. And then feel your stability. So I'm anchoring all the way down into the left foot. My left leg is so um, engaged. Take your arms and reach up. Breathe, smile. Good. From the right fingertips all the way down to the right foot. And then start to reach yourself forward. And don't go slow. There's a lot to discover along the way. The hands can come to the wall, but they don't have to. So as I do this, without touching the wall, I feel even more happening in the, in the left leg. Good. Breathe here. And then we'll release. So slow again, reach the arms up. And take the hands to your hips. And then step down and breathe. Okay, we're gonna do it on the side now. So I'll just turn, put my right leg facing the wall. So here's where things get more challenging. So just kind of go, okay, where can I put this right foot and be here? What works? And once you find it, be in your feet, hands to your hips, find your stability, shift the weight onto the left foot, take that right leg up. Even if you have to bend, you know, whatever you have to do to get there. Yeah, then you might heel toe your right foot out, kind of see, here, I'll put the right hand on the leg, reach the left arm up, and I'm reaching through the left side. Okay, good. Now you could bend your knee if you need to, and keep the leg straight, and I'm just gonna crescent over. So it could be bent, it could be straight. Good, and then come back, hands to your hips, step off. Nice, breathe, and then we'll turn. Okay, and now two sides very different. So again, mark it. Okay, is that good? Too far, too close. Then hands on your hips. Look at your right foot, find your integrity, shift the weight onto the right foot, lift the left leg up. Take it. 
do the wall. And then, you know, find your space. If it needs to bend, that's fine. You know, you can put that left hand on the leg, thighs, my heel toe your left foot out a little bit. And then reach the right arm up. So if you haven't bent, it's fine, my friends. You do what you need to do. And then press it over here. And you know, this doesn't need to be that big. A lot happening. If your knee is bent, your hand might come to the wall. But you know, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. And then release. Hands to the hips, release the leg, Oop. take it down, and then just be, just feel. Maybe put your hands at your heart. Good. Okay. Good stuff. Okay, I want to take a forward fold with my hips at the wall. So if you don't have a wall there, you're just going to do forward fold. But if you have a wall, you kind of start away from the wall. Your feet are right not at, not right at the wall. And then you just drop your hips like that. And then I can slide my hands down. They might come right to the floor. They might not. <coughs> drop your head. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit more for the backs of the legs. So if the legs can straighten, let me say straight 10. They don't have to go perfectly straight. And then you anchor your heels. See if you can lift the soles of the feet up off the floor a little bit. Okay, and then start to bend your knees, release your hips down the wall, take your hands to the wall, either side of your hips, push the wall away, release your hands to the floor, and we're just going to walk them back out to downward dog, maybe child's pose, if you need that, you know, honor yourself, whatever you need. I feel now I'm going to do handstand at the wall. That's going to happen. So if, you know, you can do this with the couch too or your chair. But if you have a wall, you know, narrow your dog, walk your hands back and take the heels to the wall with the toes, balls of the feet still on the floor. And just kind of feel, and you know, we can just do one leg at a time too. You don't have to come all the way up. So I'll bring the big toes to touch and step the right foot up the wall, tuck the toes under and extend through the heel, push your hands down and away, press the left, um, th thigh towards the wall. And let's just switch, just switch your leg. So, you know, one leg up the wall is, is great, super fun. Okay, so now I'm gonna take both feet to the wall. I'm gonna try and go hip height. So I'll bring both feet down. You can, you know, maybe narrow your dog a little more. Take one foot up, it could be on the couch. Take the other foot up, see what happens. Breathe here. So nice. <laughs> and then release. Feet to the floor. And let's all come down and just rest in child's pose. And, oh, just integrate. You can fold your hands underneath your head or stretch your arms out, whatever you need. Feel your heartbeat. Your great presence. In. Okay. Nice, my friends. Okay, bring yourself up to sitting. Take a moment here. Rub your thighs. Good. Okay, and then we're going to come to lie on your back. Um, I, I'm still going to use the wall. I feel like that's what's going to happen. So if you, um, you could use your couch as well. So it's all fine. Hello. <laughs> okay. Good. So come to lie on your back and let's go close to the wall so you're sitting in your chair. Doop, doop. And then put a blanket over your head if you need it. Good. Okay. And then you'll just kind of adjust once we get in it. Let's take the right ankle across the left knee. So I want you to feel here your, your back is on the floor. So if you're too close, then wiggle yourself back. And just be here for a few breaths. So you're not really doing anything. We're just letting 
the pose, do the work, and then we'll just change. So just set the right foot off the wall, cross the left ankle over the right knee, breathe. And take one more breath. You can take both feet to the wall. Just breathe here. And then walk your feet down the wall or even to the bottom of your couch and have the heel on the floor, balls of the feet, toes at the wall. Take your hands down by your sides and you're gonna just wrap your fingers underneath your sticky mat. And you're just gonna press like, you know, take your shoulders up to your ears. Like we've been kind of avoiding this whole class. Now hold on to the mat and extend your arms. So you're pushing the mat away from you. Now feel your feet into the floor, draw your belly in, bottom ribs in, lift your head and put it back down. Now lift your hips up and you can use, you know, you might use your mat you can use your feet and slowly lower yourself down. Pause. We're gonna do that two more times. So you can keep the hands down by your sides. You can take them over your head. I'm using the wall. So you inhale, draw your belly in. And as you exhale, lift up. Stay here as you inhale. Exhale to lower. Good. One more. So you inhale, exhale to lift. Pause here. Exhale to lower. Take your arms down by your sides. Place your feet at the wall like we did a moment ago. Readjust. Pause here. And we're gonna lift the hips again. This time I'm gonna keep the feet at the wall. So you might even wiggle yourself a little closer. You, you'll see. The feet are at the wall. The hands are down. I'm gonna grab hold of the edges of, or the underneath of my sticky mat. Feel the feet, draw your belly in. Now press the feet into the wall, lift your hips. And walk your feet up higher the wall. If you don't like this, then just go back to where we were. Good. Don't turn your head if you can. Push the feet into the wall. Okay, slowly lower yourself down. And this time as you come down, we're just gonna stretch the legs up, put the heels at the wall. And let's take a few moments. Good. Okay, so the next one is, I think we've all done this. One foot's gonna stay at the wall and the other leg's gonna extend out. Like you're this like incredible Cirque du Soleil <laughs> performer. So take your feet to the wall, set yourself up, whenever you need, draw your belly in, ribs in, start to press the feet in, lift the hips, come to wherever you're comfortable, walk your feet up, and then keep the left foot at the wall. Let's take the right knee in and extend the leg out. The left leg can go straight. I'm just gonna breathe here. And then we'll release. You might just switch in the air or come down and set yourself up, switch again. Really extend into the wall. So we're really opening this hip crease. I'm gonna just switch one more time. So you can feel the extension of the leg into the wall to open your hip crease. So sweet. And then as you come down, just rest your heels at the wall, drop in and breathe. You can let your feet flop. Nice. Okay. Set your feet at the floor. Grab hold of your block. Hopefully you don't have to reach too far for it, but you might roll yourself over, grab it, take it. Feet on the floor, adjust yourself. You want to move away from the wall a little bit. We're just going to lift the hips and put this block underneath the sacrum. And it, I have mine on the highest height, but don't let that tell you you have to do that too. We'll put it on the lowest height, middle height, or if you prefer a blanket bolster, that's fine. Just drop into this lift. Okay. So if you were with me in class on Sunday, we were here and then I brought one leg in. So I'm gonna do that again, but I'll, I'll give you some, I just want you to rest here. And then if you need to watch, just take a few breaths. And if you need to watch, then I'll tell you when to take a little peek. But 
see if I can guide you in. So depending on how high the block is, this might work and it might not, it's all fine. I'm just gonna heel toe the feet a little closer together. Then I start to walk my right foot back. So I'm just gonna take it back, take my right hand, see if I can grab hold of the top of my right foot. If I can, I'm gonna lift the foot up and I use that hand to kind of smooth the toes out. See if I can put the tops of the toes, top of the foot to the floor. So if you need to take a peek now, then just you know, take a, roll yourself over, take a little peek. Okay, I'm just gonna work this. If it opens, I can go deeper, pull the foot up more and just invite the front of the, you know, I really feel this in the front of the quad, front of the hip crease. Softening the glutes. Okay, and then to release, I take the right hand and I kind of guide the foot out. Now I have both feet back on the floor. I'm gonna pause, just feel what that did. Okay, and then I'll walk the left foot back. Take the left hand and see if I can put the top of that left foot, even the tops of the toes onto the floor. This can be very intense. <laughs> You know, you can do this any height of the block, still could be very intense. So just smile, breathe, receive. Good. And then use your left hand to help release that left foot. Come back. Good. Okay. So I'm gonna play one more. I'm gonna take my hands, hold the block. Bring the right leg up to the sky, and then I'm gonna extend the left leg out. And the heel might stay on the floor, the leg might lift. Oh, I'm still close enough to the wall, I can get the sole of the left foot to the wall. So whatever you are doing here, one leg extended out, one leg up, and then we'll switch. And you can switch in the air or come back and switch. And then breathe. Good, okay and rest in, I, you know, I put both feet at the wall here. It works nice for a little bit of a supported Vibhariti Dandasana is actually the name of this pose. Well, I have both feet at the wall, they're in line with my hips. And if you're ready to come off your blocks then do that, pause and offer yourself whatever you need as you come down. I'm lowering my feet to the floor now. I'll lift my hips, take the block out all the way down and just rest in your stillness so as you come down here you know that's a lot for the back you might feel like you need to do some windshield wipering to just release your back and i'm going to take this a little bit deeper too so i'll just cross one ankle over the knee and come back to windshield wiper that way okay so you can be here you might even go knee over knee and that's gonna give you a deeper twist. So you could have you know, ankle over knee, knee over knee, or just rocking your knees side to side. Okay, if you have crossed your legs, then just pause, change, perhaps ankle over knee or knee over knee, and just rocking this side to side. This is such good medicine. You know, you're churning your ocean. Yes. <laughs> And then you'll come to center. You might rest here. You might be ready to move into Shavasana. I'm just gonna hug the knees into my chest for a few moments and come back to maybe circling the knees or rocking side to side. So I've been saying, I said it in class a few times that I keep hearing that, you know, we're gonna have a pandemic of back pain. So much back pain after this pandemic from one pandemic to another. So. Just feel here, you're nourishing your back. That's not gonna be us, right friends? Good, okay. And then we'll set up for a Shavasana here, however you like. Um, I'm gonna take legs up the wall because we're here at the wall. So if you like that, great. You can always bring a little support in for your hips. Make yourself nice and warm and cozy. A blanket for under your head, a blanket to cover, an eye pillow, something like that. And, you know, create for yourself this beautiful space to rest into. You know, it's like, you know, so nice to get into a nicely made bed, 
right? So you take the time and make your bed and you get in, it's so nice. You feel like you've prepared yourself a nice space. It's like when you have clean sheets, how nice is that the first night? So you set up your Shavasana that same way. You honor your rest. And hopefully you feel comfortable and warm. I'm just gonna cover up my legs. And starting to just receive the support of gravity of the floor of your props and the energies of your practice. Letting them move through you. And listening to the sound of your breath. Even imagining that you're lying on a beach, listening to the gentle surf of the ocean, feeling the sun warming you. And that for this moment, all is well, all is beautiful. All is easy. Bringing your awareness to that space between your body and the earth. Just feeling your body burrowing, dropping in more deeply into that comfort, that security, and this feeling of being held. You can release all that you carry all your stress, all your tensions, all your anxieties, your worries. And for this moment, you feel yourself deeply held. You are not alone. You are not alone in your experience and in all that you carry. It's feeling yourself loved and supported by the people you practice with, by the people who love you, and by the people you love. You've been feeling that you are supported by everyone who's come before you. Melt the back of your head, back of your heart, back of your hips, and the backs of your feet. And coming back to your breath, just noticing it. You don't have to change it. Just follow your breath. And 
just melting yourself more deeply. And then choosing to stay in your rest for longer or beginning to make little movements as you gently wake yourself up, stretch yourself long or make yourself really small. If you're coming out, just taking that fetal position for a breath or two here. So just honor everything that's come before this moment. And then lovingly bring yourself up if you're coming up or stay lying down if all fine. And just taking a few moments, just as we did at the beginning of class, to feel ourselves at the beginning of practice, now to feel yourself at the end of your practice, and just to be aware of the energy within you, without, like within and without, that there's a balance, that you feel yourself even held in your own energy field, supported, protected, very present. Bringing your hands together at your heart, you bow your chin, just taking this moment for you know, silent honoring and gratitude for all that you are and all that you bring and all that you offer and for your willingness to practice. And there's this beautiful, um, there's always these groups of three, but Icha, Kriya, Janana are the three. And Icha is the willingness to practice. That's what you need first. The Kriya is the practice. And the Janana, J-N-A-N-A, -A, is the wisdom that arises from practice. So just feel that you've invited all that in. And inhale, lengthen yourself tall, lift your chin, keep your eyes closed. And join together in our May We Be Blessed mantra. We'll seal this with an own inhale. May we be blessed with loving kindness. May we be well. May we be peaceful and at ease. May we be healthy and may we be happy. Inhale. Oh. Bow your chin and om shanti, om peace, om namaste, bless yourself. Take a full breath in, breathe into your hands, catch your breath, lift your chin, open your eyes and then offer this to yourself. And we'll offer it out. I love to blow it and make a little heart. Mwah. Yes, I see you, my friends. With great love in my heart. And thank you so much for joining me. Mm, I bow to you. Namaste. Have a beautiful rest of your day. I love you all. Thank you.